Bonjour à toutes et à tous et bienvenue sur Mars pour cette nouvelle vidéo. Aujourd'hui, je voudrais vous présenter Bonnie. Bonnie est notre responsable médicale sur le terrain. Elle prend soin de la bonne santé de chaque membre de l'équipe durant la mission, effectue des analyses quotidiennes et traite les situations d'urgence. So, Bonnie, please, can you explain us what is this room and what is your mission inside? Sure. So, this is the Space Medical Clinic and this is an area where I can see every member of the team if they need uh, to talk to me about a medical problem. But part of my day-to-day -day role is also to assess the astronauts before and after each spacewalk. Um, beforehand, I will do a check of their baseline observation, so looking at their heart rate, their blood pressure, their general well-being, and making sure that they're fit and ready to perform the spacewalk. The spacewalk itself is actually a very physically demanding task. Uh, in the harsh climate of, of Mars, um, with wearing a very heavy suit as well. Um, afterwards, I will then uh, talk to them, checking that they've, they've got any sore points from the suit, they've got any injuries, how they felt that the, the, the task, the mission went themselves, and again, checking their observations and making sure that they can return to health to take part in another spacewalk the next day. Now we are inside uh, the Ops Center, the Operational Center, and uh, we just just did the medical check of Stefan, so it's go for EVA. Yeah. And we are in front of the suit that he will be uh, done uh, very soon now. So just to let you know a little bit what is uh, this autonomous spaceship actually. So um, that's a power system, which is uh, with all the batteries and now operating all the uh, systems in the suit. So there's a thermal control system, which is regulating the uh, temperature when uh, the helmet it's closed actually, and that's communication system with a primary and backup radio. And there's also telemetry in order to uh, communicate with the base all the data that have been collected on the field. And uh, there's also this antenna, and there's also GPS for navigation. And on the top of that, there's a life support system which is with all the parameters that you are monitoring during yeah. um, the EVA. So what are they? So first of all, we monitor the oxygen levels uh, within the enclosed space. We also monitor the carbon dioxide, which is the gas that uh, builds up when you exhale, um, to check that it's within safe levels. We have a thermometer in here, so we measure the temperature inside the suit, uh, which is really important when we're working in these uh, extremes of temperature. Uh, the astronaut themselves will wear a, a band around their chest that monitors mm -hmm. their heart rate uh, and I'll show you in a moment where I, where I monitor that from. Yeah. And then the astronaut themselves will also carry their own consumables, so they'll carry two litres of water, chilled water with them um, yeah. for the duration of the EVA mm -hmm. and they also wear a urination device uh, so they're able to um, let fluids out during the EVA. Okay, so basically with that you, are, you can ensure during all the EVA that it's fine? Absolutely. Okay, so and where do you uh, monitor them? So Yeah, well, uh, come on, I'll take you over to the console where I sit during a spacewalk. Okay, let's go. Okay. We are now at your console. So how do you operate all the parameters that are monitored from the suits here? Back oh. in the console? Yep, okay, so this is the medal console. Mm -hmm. This is where the doctor will sit for the duration of the spacewalk. And this is the screen that I monitor throughout. As you can see, it's split into two. One for each of the suits that uh, go out on, an, on a spacewalk at any given time. And here I can look at the heart trace, so I get an idea of what the heart rate is and, and what the heart's really doing. Mm -hmm. I have uh, oxygen levels within the suit, mm -hmm. exhaled carbon dioxide levels, and a temperature within the suit that I monitor throughout. And from that I can determine how hard the astronaut's working and if they need a break at all. Every 30 minutes I will then do a medical questionnaire or a medical survey where I assess the astronaut's level of fatigue, pain, hunger, thirst uh, and sensation of temperature. Uh, and from that decision I will then relay that to Ops here. So, uh, and, and uh, we'll, we'll make a decision whether whether the astronaut can make a break. Uh, Ops runs the, is responsible for the whole spacewalk itself yeah. and for relaying information back to Earthcom. So I have a team of doctors, or there is a team of doctors uh, based back at, at Earth, and they are able to support me and respond to any questions. Um, but 
there is a 20 minute delay. Yeah, so it means that it's good for a long-term analysis, but not for real-time assessment, right? Yes, that's right. So if I've got a question mm -hmm. um, that I want an answer for, then I can relay that to them, but I won't get it back for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, and any uh, kind of urgent or quick decisions that need to be made, I have to make here uh, on my own. So uh, anyway, I will be in safety for the mission so yes, on the field, absolutely. so if there's something that is related to safety issues, I will let you know, of course. Super, thanks a lot. And this is the end of the video. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bunny. Pleasure.